the purpose of the event is really to, to act as a professional development type scenario for company managers and professional trustees as well as, as fellow lawyers. And I'm very happy to welcome Sue once again to Gibraltar. Um, she's the director of 24 Old Buildings and they are doing this seminar in conjunction with us. 24 Buildings is known to be a set of international barristers. The barristers practice all over the world, and we've got a long-standing relationship with Gibraltar. Gibraltar is often at the, at the cutting edge of decisions that are being made that are being looked at around the world. So um, we've worked quite closely with met different members of the legal profession here for a number of years, and uh, we thought that it would be a very interesting event to bring our expertise from global markets, which applies to, to Gibraltar, as well and combine that together and give some of the experiences that Charles has had with members here and spread that really amongst the wider legal community so all part of really trying to share that interesting case knowledge that's coming out of Gibraltar at the moment with the legal community at large. What are some of the specifics that you'll be dealing with at the conference and what do you hope to achieve? Well, Gibraltar is blessed with a thriving trust business and a thriving corporate financial services business. And the conference ranges across both subject areas, really with a view to trying to give some practical tips. There's a bit of law in there, uh, but mainly practical tips on what those people involved in those professions might want to be looking out for, warning signs, a sort of traffic light system, uh, to give them some guidance on how to try and avoid litigation if at all possible. The subject and content matter will be dealing with very topical. I think the significant thing about the law in Gibraltar is actually the, the, the fact that we're now having significant local decisions which are effectively impacting globally and in that sense that is very much a result of, of Gibraltar's um, uh, development and growth as a, as a finance centre. So, so now for example in the two recent decisions in, in RBS and JISCA those decisions are something that will be looked at by English lawyers as well as as, as other lawyers in common law jurisdictions and we saw that as well as another case we're involved in which was the Credit Agricole case and that went to the Privy Council and again that's an authority uh, which other common law lawyers are looking at and historically uh, when Gibraltar was a much more um, say less, less sophisticated in terms of the finance centre you saw less um, authorities that um, our fo fellow common law practitioners would have been looking at uh, but now Gibraltar is very much on the map when it comes to uh, to, to cases of, of this type of nature.